What do you need to know about the deadly aortic aneurysms? While heart attacks get an awful lot of press, and rightfully so, other heart issues such as aortic aneurysms can be just as life-threatening, and they're a lot harder to detect. Below you will find all you need to know about this potentially deadly condition. What is an aortic aneurysm? The aorta is the largest artery in the body, when it weakens, bulges, and bursts, the results are often fatal. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 9,863 people died from aortic aneurysms in 2014, the last time data was taken. A silent killer. Neil Salani, MD, Structural Heart Cardiologist at the Advocate Heart Institute at Lutheran General Hospital in Park Ridge, Illinois, says that this is a completely silent killer. It often goes unnoticed until someone looks for it with an X-ray, MRI or ultrasound. This condition typically occurs when the weakened aorta starts to grow and dilate. In what is called dissection, the artery wall can also split due to the force of the blood being pumped through the two types. An aortic aneurysm can occur anywhere along the aorta, but the two main types are a thoracic aortic aneurysm, which occurs in the chest, and an abdominal aortic aneurysm, which is found in the abdomen. Warning Signs Unfortunately, the symptoms are often non-existent. According to the Mayo Clinic, an abdominal aortic aneurysm might cause pain in the back, abdomen, legs or groin, and a pulsing feeling near the navel. With a thoracic aortic aneurysm, people sometimes report difficulty breathing or swallowing, shortness of breath, hoarseness, and coughing. Risk Factors Abdominal aortic aneurysms occur more frequently than thoracic aortic aneurysms and are mostly due to hardening of the arteries. According to the CDC, those who smoke, are three to five times more likely to develop an abdominal aortic aneurysm. For thoracic aortic aneurysms, the risk seems to be more genetic. Those with a family history of conditions such as Marfan syndrome or Lewis Dietz syndrome should discuss the risk with their doctors. High blood pressure or cholesterol, and smoking can make matters worse. Screening Aortic aneurysms can be detected by echocardiogram, MRI, ultrasound, or X-ray. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force suggests that men who have smoked and are between the ages of 65 to 75 should undergo an ultrasound screening for an abdominal aortic aneurysm, even if they are not showing any symptoms. There is not enough evidence to determine if women need regular screening. Those with a family history of aortic aneurysm should be screened even in the absence of risk factors, says Alan Brown, MD, Director of Cardiology in the Lipid Clinic at the Advocate Heart Institute at Lutheran General Hospital. Treatment If an aortic aneurysm is detected, doctors can prescribe medications to lower blood pressure or cholesterol, which can help to prevent it from enlarging. If the bulge is already large or grows quickly between screenings, surgery to graft a damaged section might help. Prevention If you smoke, it's about time you quit. Uncontrolled blood pressure is another major risk factor, and cholesterol is also a concern. Therefore, Dr. Salani recommends that people work with their doctors to control cholesterol and blood pressure. Don't forget your lifestyle, a healthy diet and frequent exercise can help to lower blood pressure and cholesterol. Make sure that your diet includes fruit, lean meats, fish, whole grains, and vegetables. Avoid saturated fat, and added salt and sugar. Foods to avoid for high triglycerides Triglycerides are fats in the food you eat that are carried in your blood. High triglyceride levels put you at risk for heart disease, diabetes and fatty liver disease. Normal triglyceride levels are under 150 mg per deciliter. Levels that are borderline high are between 151 and 200, high are between 201 and 499 and very high are above 500 mg per deciliter. To help control high triglyceride levels, the Cleveland Clinic recommends you exercise and eat a diet low in fats, sugars, refined carbohydrates and alcohol. Trans and saturated fats Total fat should be 30 to 35% of your calories, with no more than 7% from saturated fats, the American Heart Association recommends. Saturated fats, found in meat and dairy products, raise triglycerides, so avoid eating butter, cheese and fatty meats. The Cleveland Clinic recommends staying away from trans fats altogether. Trans fats are partially hydrogenated oils that are added to foods to give them a more savory taste and texture and longer shelf life. They raise your low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, 
cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol related to triglyceride levels. You find trans fats in fried foods, such as french fries and donuts, and prepackaged baked goods including pizza and pie crusts, crackers and cookies. Sugar Fructose, found in added sugars, may increase the amount of fats and triglycerides in your liver, Ohio State University Extension notes. Avoid adding sugar to your foods and drinking sugary beverages, such as soda, sports drinks and sweet tea. The Cleveland Clinic recommends choosing fresh fruit over fruit juice or fruit snacks and selecting cereals with less than 8 grams of sugar per serving. If you're craving dessert, try sugar-free ice cream, yogurt or pudding. Even eating too much natural sugar increases triglycerides. Limit dried fruits to one quarter cup per day. Avoid honey and don't eat more than half cup of starchy vegetables, such as mashed potatoes, yams, beans and corn, per day. Limit baked potatoes to 3 ounces. Refined Carbohydrates Your body turns extra refined carbohydrates into triglycerides. Foods from these grains also lose their fiber during the refining process, and fiber can lower blood triglyceride levels. The Cleveland Clinic states refined carbohydrates are a key contributor to high triglyceride levels. Avoid foods made from enriched, bleached or refined flours, such as white bread, pasta, crackers and rice. Alcohol Your body turns extra alcohol into triglycerides and stores it in your fat cells. So drinking too much alcohol can help raise your triglyceride levels, the Cleveland Clinic states. If your levels are already high, skip alcohol altogether. If you do drink, have no more than two drinks a day if you're a man, and no more than one drink if you're a woman. One drink is one ounce of 100 proof spirits, 1.5 ounces of 80 proof spirits, 4 ounces of wine and 12 ounces of beer, according to the American Heart Association. 10 Foods That Will Clean Your Arteries Naturally and Protect You From Heart Attacks Coronary artery disease is a very common condition, especially with those who eat a standard American diet full of hydrogenated oils and sugar. Roughly 1 million people will have a heart attack this year. Of those, roughly 500,000 will die. Heart disease is the number one killer of both men and women in many countries, including America. What is coronary artery disease? Coronary artery disease is a condition caused by blockage or narrowing of the arteries that feed your circulatory system. This occurs when cholesterol adheres to the damaged parts of your blood vessels. This damage is caused by daily fluctuations in blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, and stress. Over time, these deposits can become hard and turn into dangerous plaque that narrows the passages of your arteries. Adding these 10 foods to your diet can provide support to your circulatory system and boost your overall health. Dumeric Dumeric is becoming all the rage for health-conscious foodies. Its active component, curcumin, helps to reduce tissue inflammation, reduce fat storage and even fight cancer. Best, it helps to keep platelets from clumping together to prevent the development of cardiovascular disease. A common way to consume it is to choose fresh roots with carrots and leafy green vegetables. Juicing is the best way to absorb turmeric in its purest form. But if you don't have a juicer available, you can also add powdered turmeric to your diet. Watermelon Watermelon contains arginine. Arginine produces the nitric oxide that your body needs to maintain a healthy blood pressure and keep your circulatory system supple and flexible. Watermelon also reduces blood pressure because it contains more citrulline than any other food. Citrulline lowers blood pressure by helping the body to eliminate waste. Avocados Avocados are very high in the good kind of fats that you need to eat every day. The monounsaturated fat in avocados can reduce LDL cholesterol while increasing your HDL cholesterol levels. Sardines Fish that are high in omega-3s and vitamin D can help to lower triglycerides and cholesterol levels. They are also an excellent source of vitamin B12, which protects heart health by reducing homocysteine levels. Berries Berries are a nutritional powerhouse. They pack an enormous amount of nutrition into a tasty, low-calorie package. The anthocyanins and flavonoids in berries help to decrease blood pressure and dilate blood vessels. In fact, one study showed that women who ate more than three servings of berries a week reduced their risk of heart attack by 32%. Now that's a tasty way to stay heart healthy. Citrus Fruits People often recommend drinking orange juice for potassium and vitamin C but many juices contain added sugar. They can also raise blood sugar too high because they lack fiber. Instead, 
it's better to eat fresh citrus fruits. Just one lemon contains half your daily need for vitamin C and oranges are loaded with potassium. Beware grapefruit if you are on cholesterol-lowering statins because they can interfere with the effectiveness of the drug. Unsalted Nuts Nuts are a super yummy snack packed with fiber and vitamin E. Studies have shown that people who eat nuts have a healthier way than those that don't, which reduces the strain on your circulatory system. Extra Virgin Olive Oil There's a reason that the Mediterranean diet is known to be so healthy. 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil a day can help reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke by 30%. The non-unsaturated fats in olive oil reduce both cholesterol and blood sugar. Grapes Grapes, especially black-seeded grapes, are very high in resveratrol which acts like antioxidants to protect your body from the damage that can cause a higher risk for cancer and heart disease. Green Tea Green tea contains catechins, which have a very healthy antioxidant effect. A 2006 study published in the JAMA Network showed that those who drank four or more cups of green tea a day reduced their risk of cardiovascular disease by 20%. You can also reduce your risk for coronary artery disease by exercising more, quitting smoking, reducing alcohol consumption, reducing your intake of sugar and hydrogenated oils and reducing your stress level to prevent dangerous fluctuations in your blood pressure, 